Hello and welcome to this video. To to fu, fu, fu. <laughs> to you have tip. Hmm. I doubt that this is the right way to pronounce it. Now I actually have game sounds which I didn't have in the recording before. I don't know if that is annoying, the tick tick tock stuff. Oh, he just takes with the night. Yeah, this is not really precise, but it's the kind of imprecision that only leads to equality and not like black being better. Hmm. And now he allows this, which is kind of strange. Because I mean, e4, e3 is highly desirable for black, so a little bit surprising because of the fact that the d2 knight and the f2 is they are both hanging so this is going to be a pretty substantial concession on white's part if he moves the knight now i have capture captures and knight g4 or knight g4 immediately but then the f pawn might move so i'm going to take my development is not that great this is something to keep in mind yeah, but knight g4, he has to go, yeah, he has to go um, rook f3, basically, to cover e3. Yeah, but it's not that clear that this is actually all that, all that great, to be honest. Hmm. It's not clear here. Okay, I can also just complete development I mean that whole transformation I think is quite quite okay for me so I'm not in a real rush to to do anything with knight g4 yeah he's got e4 maybe lined up yeah I think I'm going to play c5 in this position and then knight c6 next I want a bit of pressure here. If he goes e4, knight c6, I would like to have this pawn pressurizing the center so that maybe he's inclined to push the e pawn. Okay, went e3. Okay, let's go knight c6. You always have to consider what happens if they take on c6, but this is a move I cannot quite believe in with um, light squares um, weakened that much. That should not really be a concern. How to do this? The bishop on c8 is not doing anything good here. Okay, he's fed up with knight g4. I'm looking at this the whole time. Yeah, knight h5 is a pretty obvious idea. But don't quite know. Yeah, if I go. Knight b4. Where is he putting the queen actually? It's not so easy. I have knight e4 also. Yeah? So if he goes like queen e2, knight e4 is, is quite, quite, uh, quite unpleasant to say the least. Because let's say queen e2, knight e4, rook f3, knight g5, and blunders the h3 pawn or the exchange. And he has to somehow cover e3. And now I'm getting I'm getting the bishop, yeah. Okay, um take, take, takes on c5, takes on c5, knight takes c5. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a pain. But you want to do that, yeah. Knight e4 just looks extremely attractive. Take, take. He can take c5, and then immediately my knight is hanging. That's really a shame. Take, take, knight takes. Hmm. Huh, okay. Hmm. I, I still want to do it. It's going to go a3 next here, right? Mm. That's a shame. Mm. 
really, really um, lots of time burned for all this. Yeah, now I go 94 M. Absolutely no question. How to get 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 at this? I can go here actually. Yeah, c4 is attack. That's just a double attack. And queen takes c4 is annoying, very annoying. Plus he probably has to go g4, which is kind of a <clears throat> painful move anyhow. But the most important thing is if I get c4, I get the d5 square. Okay, so <clears throat> Yeah, but that's not going to going to stand. G3 is hanging, C4 is hanging, everything is hanging. Yeah, he's got no playable move really. Don't see one. Yeah. Now that was a bit of a disaster. Yeah, I think he played this a tad too quickly. After I mean, this is slightly inaccurate, yeah? This is this, this knight bd2, white should take with the queen. But, um, okay, it's not it's not a huge mistake. I had this played against uh, me by Grandmaster just like roughly a year ago, and uh, it is, it is uh, equal-ish, but nothing special. The reason why this is not, not so great is the knight is just not good on d2. I mean, it's just not a well-placed piece there. You have to spend time to relocate it. Okay, d6, bishop g2, e5. And here white should probably react to that e4, e3 idea. Um, the engine here um, actually plays wants to play knight f1. This is not such a bad regrouping, putting the knight here. And it stops you know, the pawn. I mean, okay, this is not leading to... Um, yeah, I'm not losing... Uh, I'm not winning here or anything, but I think it's quite comfortable. Interestingly, um, the engine wants to play knight to g5, which is quite interesting. So e3, I would really think I'm fine here. Queen b3, this is shocking. That's quite shocking. So, yeah, this, 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 okay, well, I'm, I'm really not worried about that, but... It's probably equal, right? Probably equal. Like if I do this, knight takes, takes, rook takes, castles, this should be roughly equal. I mean, white is much better developed, but I mean, what do you attack here? My position is weakness, completely devoid of any weaknesses. But it wasn't all that great then. I mean, I was thinking like after e4, I'm fine. But knight g5, okay, this is, but this is even more remarkable. That this is the move well i mean hmm. the purpose is clear but i just did not anticipate anything like that so if i grab this when I mean, the engine by now is uh, giving giving black an advantage probably because there is some issue with the queen which definitely has no squares you can see six here and the engine is starting to like black yeah the idea is probably just queen c7 knight bd7 and i'm a piece up Okay, so this is better than knight e1 then. e3, knight here, take, take. And in fact, this is not as great as I thought. I mean, originally thought, okay, just here, but after rook f3, I don't really have any great concrete continuation. So probably castles isn't too bad. Queen d3, and I went c5. I, I want a pawn to attack the, the center because I was always thinking he, he wanted to play some e4, but okay, that's not really great now. Anyway, now e3 then, knight c6, and now this move h3. Yeah, he was worried about knight g4, which I understand, but it weakens even more. Knight b4, queen d2, and now this was a bit of a shame. I mean, at, at the end, I played even the move that the engine has on the radar, but this is what you sorry what you want to do. The issue is he will take queen takes takes on c5, and now this is a bit of a, a bit of a pain because I cannot take here. Oh, I was thinking rook c1, but the engine points out that this is winning the knight immediately. Okay, 
so that that is not takeable at all so takes take I, I calculated this far and I thought okay this is no good there's rook c1 but okay the engine simply continues this line with queen b5 and says that I'm better okay that's true that's true So then that is, I don't know, I mean, the engine actually liked rook e8, but I was mostly playing it because I couldn't get the knight e4 move working completely. The way it turned out, it was even a little bit um, better for me. Knight c6, and now he went knight c2 after that. I think it's, it's really, really terrible. But I don't know what else, really. e3 is hanging. Yeah, it's probably just, it's not great, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and here queen e6 is basically a double attack. d5 didn't help, but you really have no good move. If I, like g4, I just take this. h5 was pointed out by the comp, but this is just strong. Take the pawn, and this is hanging, so probably a passive move now, like here. And here I'm just, like, better by a mile, and the center is quite controlled. Yeah, I would have thought about a move like queen to d5 here, I'm not sure. Just uh, in the central square is just so tempting, even though h5 makes a lot of sense. Maybe just taking is good, I don't know. I mean, probably there's a huge range of moves that is strong. It's got a weak king, it's a pawn down, and so on. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.